Hi guys, optimization question today. Um, the question says that we've been given a length of a closed box that's twice its width. The volume of the box is 5 grand centimeters cubed. Use calculus to determine the dimensions of the box for its surface area to be minimized. Okay, so first off the bat, we've got this minimized thing here. So basically what we're looking for is we're looking for a function and we've got to find its turning point. Now, the way we're going to find that, the function is going to have to, have to be to do with surface area. So we're going to have to find some sort of rate of change in surface area, and that's going to have to equal zero. So let's get to it. I've drawn a box over here to start with because I like to visualize these problems a little bit. So I'll draw the actual uh, box and so I can write down the dimensions that we've been given. So we've got here that its width is x, so let's draw that in here, x, and its length is twice its width. So we can write down here 2x, pretty self-explanatory, and we, don't, we aren't given a height variable, so we're just going to write in h. So we're also told that the volume of the box is 5 grand, so let's write that in here somewhere. centimeters cubed. Great. So what we've got here is we're looking for the surface area of this um, box. So our objective function or the function that we're going to try and minimize is going to be the surface area of this box. And that's going to be equal to basically all of the sides added together. Now, let's start with the bottom and the top. So the bottom side is, the area of that is going to be 2x times x, and then we're going to multiply it by 2. So we've got 2 times 2x times x is 2x squared. Then we're going to add to that x times h, xh times 2 for the sides, the left and right. So times plus 2 times xh plus 2 times we've got the back and the front so that's 2x times h so 2xh and if we multiply all those out we get 4x squared plus we've got 2xh plus 4xh is 6x H. Cool. So, the issue that we have here is if we're going to try and differentiate this surface area equation, we've got two variables here. We can't, we can't differentiate it with respect to two variables and get a specific value of um, x. We'll only be able to get a function of x in terms of h. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to, we've got a, a constraint function which is going is placed upon us by the fact that the volume has to be 5,000 centimeters cubed. So this here, the volume, this acts as like what's called a constraint. So what that does, because if we needed the surface area to be maximized, we'd just make the, the box bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger onto infinity. But what's stopping us make doing that is the fact that all of these uh, sides, the dimensions of the box, have to give us a volume of 5,000. So there are only a specific set of values that these numbers can take. So that's the constraint there. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out, well, what can we use this constraint to tell us? Well, we know that the volume of this box is going to be length times width times height, which is 2x times x times h. So 2x squared h. And from that, we can say that h is going to be equal to volume divided by 2x squared. So, the volume is 5,000. Divided by 2x squared, which in simple terms is 2,500 
divided by x squared. Cool. So what we can then do is the way that the, um, the constraint works in this problem is we then are able to, because we've got h in terms of x here, we can plug this in here in our objective function. So from there, we can actually have the surface area of this box in terms of only x. And it's going to be equal to 4x squared plus 6x times, and rather than h, we're going to have 2,500 over, let me just make it nice, over x squared. Now that can obviously be simplified. 2,500 times 6 is 15 grand. So this is going to be equal to 4x squared plus, now that's going to be 15, and one of these will cancel, so we're going to have 15,000 divided by x. Cool. So now we have our objective function in terms of one variable. We can then go about differentiating this objective function so we can find out where the turning point is. Now, just word to the wise, this part of the objective function here, if you're going to try and differentiate this, we've got 15,000. Now, rather than writing divided by x, you can write x to the negative 1. Now, the reason you do that is so when you differentiate this, it becomes, you times the negative 1 down, negative 15,000, and then you reduce the power by 1. So x to the negative 2. So this then becomes, so the derivative for the second part of the equation becomes negative 15 grand on x squared. So that's just in case you were having trouble figuring out what the derivative of this is. Now, let's take this back. So we're going to find that of the overall function, the derivative of surface area with respect to x is going to be equal to 8x minus 15,000 over x squared. Cool. And from up here, we know that this has to equal zero. So what we then do is it's just from here on out, it's just an algebra question. So we're going to take the 15,000 over x squared to the side and we're going to have 8x is equal to 15,000 on x squared. We're then going to multiply the x squared across. Let's just move this up here. We're going to have 8x to the power of 3 is equal to 15,000. We're then going to divide both sides by 8. And that'll cancel, and we're left with x cubed is equal to 1875. And then finally, you get the cube root. So we'll have x is equal to the third root of 1875. That's supposed to be a 7. And that is equal to 12.33. That's in centimetres. So it's asking for the to all the different dimensions. So that's the width. The length is going to be 2 times that. So 2x is not very complicated to work out. That's going to be 24.66. And the h, which is equal to 2,500 on x squared, will then equal 16.44. Now we must remember to write all of our units on each of these. 
And once we've got that, we can say that the dimensions of this box, let's take it right back to the top where we started from. So the dimensions, uh, we've got the length equal to 24.66 centimetres, the width equal to 12.33 uh, And finally, the height equal to 16.44 centimetres. Cool. So basically what we've got to do here is we've got a objective function, or the function which we're trying to minimise, in terms of two variables. So we have to go out looking for a constraint function. Now in this case, it was pretty easy to find. It was just the volume equation the volume uh, constraint. Once we do that, we can substitute the constraint into the objective function, differentiate it, and then go through some basic algebra to uh, nut out what our three dimensions are. So it's not a very, very complicated problem. If you do a couple of them, there are lots of different ones. You can have prisms, you can have spheres, you can have all sorts of different um, volume style equations. But if you uh, yeah, do a couple of them, you'll find that they're not, none of them are any different from anyone else. It's just the, um, the way that you calculate surface area for each of them will be different. So I hope that video helped, and I'll see you again next time.